with Southern Lakes. Uh, this is Tim and Julie Nelson. Uh, we're here at Camp Cali in Honduras. And uh, we just want to say thank you for sending your team down. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, these people right here. Day. All these wild and crazy people. Woo! Woo -woo! We had a great, uh, great week. God really answered some prayers. And uh, Dennis, Pastor Dennis, who's the caretaker here, said he's loved the generational uh, relationships and the whole team working together for a common purpose. And we really saw that here uh, this week. And uh, we want to thank you for all your prayers, your partnership here in making this possible. Uh, we love you, and uh, you all need to come back next year. There we go. There we go. And what's right behind you? Thanks for letting us. This is our cabin here that uh, the team worked on. Uh, did the inside, the windows are new this week, the electrical installation is new this week. We got paint on the walls, we taped and mudded, and we've got a new ceiling inside, and uh, it just got a huge push on it. So thank you so much. Yeah. And the cabinets look awesome. Really, really nice. So thank you all. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Well, hello, church family. It's uh, hard to believe it's uh, been two weeks since we've uh, come back from the Honduras missions trip. Uh, but now's the time to provide a, a team report uh, remotely this time. Uh, we certainly didn't anticipate having to be sequestered in our homes and providing a, a digital team report when we headed off to Honduras this year. But uh, as things are, a lot has changed in the last couple of weeks. Now for the, the report, I could, uh, I could definitely go on and on about what it's like to ride in the car with Pastor Ken in Central America or uh, the most amazing fried chicken and refried beans and tortillas you've ever had in your life. I could probably go on and on about uh, sanding drywall in extreme heat or sipping coffee listening to tropical birds. But for this team report, I'd like to share three big praises that I, uh, I came away with after this, this trip. The first big praise I have uh, is is really a praise about the team that got assembled. Every time we take a, a, a mission trip, we talk about the fact that God is the one that puts the teams together, and this this was no different. We took a team of 25 people, which is probably the biggest team I've taken to Honduras, and uh, this team just served really well together. Uh, it was just a blessing to be a part of this team. We had uh, father, son, we had father, daughter, we had uh, moms and daughters, we had some some younger people, um, some more veterans, and just was a great mix. And the team really gelled together, worked well together, and just we just enjoyed being with each other and serving and working. Uh, it was just a, a real blessing. The second praise that I would share is that we were able to accomplish a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, thankfully, that we had a lot of people to do the work. Uh, and, and Leroy was a great team leader and getting all the projects coordinated. But at the end of the week, we were able to really see uh, that the place had really taken shape. Windows were in, appliances were there, cabinets. Uh, it just it, it looked great and really close to being able to have guests stay there. So that was a big praise. The third praise that I would share is that even with all the work that we were able to do as a team, Probably the most work that was done was the work that God did on our team. And we were able to see some lives changed, some, some just really tremendous things that God did in the lives of our teammates. We were able to witness some baptisms and uh, share some great testimonies in the evening as a team. And that was, really, that was really special. Probably my highlight was just to be able to see the way that God worked in the lives of our team while we were there. We just got back from Honduras and wanted to give a little update on our trip here. Um, we were able to go a long way towards finishing the third cabin at Camp Cali. Um, did a lot of work involving um, drywalling and ceiling and um, plumbing and you know all kinds of stuff. Uh, it was a great trip. 
Uh, it was a multi-generational trip, um, ranging in age from my, my daughter's 13 all the way up to, well, significantly older, let's say. Um, but it was a really, really fun group. Uh, we, we grew very close as a group, um, had a lot of fun, playful banter while working, and uh, it was one of the most enjoyable uh, trips that, that I've been a part of for, for that reason. Uh, one of the things I really appreciate about uh, my time in Honduras is uh, it's a it's a total mountaintop experience. You know, it's uh, it's a unique atmosphere to really seek God and, and draw close to God. Um, it removes our daily distractions and really forces us to rely upon Him. And um, that mountaintop experience is something that we can then bring home and you know apply and push forward into our daily lives. Um, I was asked, you know, I, I, this is my sixth time going to Honduras, and I was asked, you know, why do I personally commit to, to this project down there? And there's really two reasons. Uh, one is uh, I really like the worldwide vision that Tim and Julie Nelson have for this project. Um, they are, they're planning on, on training and equipping Honduran nationals to go international with the gospel and basically building um, God's kingdom worldwide and specifically concentrating on areas that uh, Americans can't get into, Philippines, Middle East, etc. Um, the other really big thing that's been the most important in my life, um, honestly, Honduras was life-changing the first time I went back in 2008 or 7. I was plugged into a community that um, uh, uh, that encouraged me, that uh, challenged me, and has led uh, in my growth in my faith significantly. So uh, loved this trip, loved all the trips, um, encourage anyone to get involved going forward. Hello everyone. Honduras was an amazing experience. I loved getting to know the team and working alongside them. Um, I really enjoy missions trips because it gives you a chance to pause and really grow in your walk with Christ and uh, as well as serve others. Um, it was cool to see God working throughout the week. Um, we were able to see progress being made on the third cabin. Um, we were able to attend church and even sit in on um, Sunday school. And the highlight of the trip for me was um, getting baptized and I even though I have been a Christian um, for many years uh, I hadn't taken that next step yet and so um, that was cool and um, we it was also really cool to see after um, the baptism um, there was a Honduran man who had seen it all happen and came up to us and told us that just the day before he had received Christ as his Savior and he also wanted to be baptized. So after his baptism, we were able to pray for him and that was awesome. So um, it's really cool to see God working every day in our lives and all around us. Um, and it's really cool to see him working even around the world. We believe in God's will. That it is a perfect and agreeable and in his time, Todo obra para bien. everything works out for good. La junta directiva de Campamento Cali, the camp board, tuvo a bien um, hacer este placa conmemorativa. Uh, decided to make this commemorative plaque. Y dedicatoria de esta cabaña. And dedicate this cabin. Eh, denominándola Robin Nest. I'm calling it Robin's Nest. Eh, en memoria de nuestra hermana Robin Holtzman. And uh, in memory of, of our, our sister hermano, in Christ, Robin Holtzman. Hermano Roy y sus hijas. Brother Roy and his daughters. Reciban este reconocimiento con mucho amor. We want to give this uh, back to you with lots of love. Y la paz del Señor en nuestros corazones. And the peace of God in our hearts. Es Robin <gasps> Thank you very much, church family, for your generous financial support of our team and the consistent prayer support that we definitely felt while we were there. 
God was able to accomplish a lot in and through our team and your support was greatly, greatly appreciated.
So what's next for Camp Cali? Well, we're looking to send another team down probably January of 2021. And the scope of the work will be framing up two additional cabins, as well as putting in a septic field for the, uh, the additional buildings. So a lot more work yet to do at Camp Cali Honduras that hopefully you can be a part of.